Gurma Agut Kankorla. I welcome the opportunity to speak on this very important matter here this evening. And the first thing I would like to do is express my surprise at the way in which the issues involving the changes to the triple lock were announced last week. The Tanishta, in a lengthy speech to a virtually empty doll, confirmed one of the most significant and far-reaching changes to Irish foreign policy in almost 30 years. I think that could have been organised in a more substantive way. To give the Tanishta the benefit of the doubt, however, I do believe that he genuinely thinks that this is in Ireland's best interests. I do not agree with him, but at least he has laid his views on the table. The fact remains that we... What we are dealing with here is the death rattle of neutrality as a meaningful concept. The announcements last week have set a process in motion that we will come to deeply regret. <coughs> neutrality in its present form has served us well and I think we would abandon it at our peril. In terms of the motion here before us, there is much to agree with but there is also much to disagree with. Particularly, it's called to establish yet another citizens' assembly to look into the matter. In order to protect neutrality as a key component of our democracy, the last thing we need is the fake democracy of a so-called citizens' assembly. I do agree, however, that any change of the magnitude proposed by the Tanishta, particularly the removal of neutrality protections, such as the triple lock, should be put directly before the Irish people through a referendum. Gareth Market.